As we move ahead in the 21st century, human need and requirements for living habitat become more diverse and global. Growing with time, architecture has also become varied. A skyscraper, or a tall building, is not only becoming an important urban form, but a slice of city life within itself. It not only superimposes itself over the skyline, but has become an integral part of human life, housing everything that man needs from birth to death. For our design of Habitat E15, we propose a mixed-use development along the length of the structure, layering various requirements with pockets of greenery. This will let the architecture speak for itself, rather than wrapping a homogenous skin, which often hides its uses within. This way we achieve variety as found in a street, which users enjoy, and is a first step towards achieving a successful vertical community. Access to the underground network via the new tube station provides immediate on-site connections for the users of Habitat E15. Tying in with the Olympic legacy and heritage of the area, Habitat E15 also has built-in sports facilities at multiple levels. The adjoining landscape will also be used for healthy recreational pursuits. We intend to merge urban design, architecture and ecology so they work together rather than superimposing another isolated built form. This landscape is made of residual garbage, recyclable materials and soil dug out from foundations. This landscape is also used to recycle waste from the vertical tower. For ecological purposes, we have established a wetland and allowed floodwaters to naturally enrich the landscape enhancing biodiversity and ecological function. Allowing natural processes to function and introducing native habitat will strengthen the environmental health of the site whilst providing an attractive public park. Steel has been one of the most important materials used in construction for the last hundred years. It has created possibilities of endless creative architecture through its qualities of flexibility and strength. In our design of Habitat E15, steel forms an integral part of both architecture and urban design. Two central cores made of steel run through the entire length of the structure, forming the main structural system to support the building. They also house all the services including lift shafts. The steel floor slabs are projected outwards through these cores which houses all the requirements. The structural system is very simple and entirely dependent on the strength and limitless possibility provided by steel. not only used as a construction material in the design, but used to create sensory experience in the public realm, such as animated footbridges, which connect Habitat E15 to its surroundings over the watercourse. Steel is also used in rocking chair, placed as street furniture in the public space at ground level. Thus, steel as a material is used in simple and small design details to directly connect it with the public interface and show the various possibilities it has in all the sectors of design and construction. In Habitat E15, we achieve a successful vertical community, retaining the energy and character of the street. We also achieve low consumption of resources and non-renewable energy by reducing unnecessary travel, successfully designing a vertical community in a built form where all the requirements of work, live and play fit in harmony. In addition, we achieve the various possibilities offered by steel in terms of constructing futuristic designs but also incorporating its qualities as an aesthetically beautiful and immensely flexible material in small design details. We hope Habitat E15 
becomes a transferable idea which progresses vertical design.